new Windows 10 vulnerability allows anyone to get admin privileges. And uh, that's what you want to hear. Yeah, <laughs> that's not great. Is it, now I know we we talk about sometimes these headlines are sensationalized. Is this that case here, or I mean, can? No, Did anybody this just do that. This one's real, and uh, <laughs> and, cool. and uh, my laptop. Actually, the laptop I'm on right now. I did double check just before the show. I'm fully updated, and it is still affected. So, uh, what happened was at at some point in 2018, Microsoft pushed some new permissions, and your registry in Windows and your your SAM database, where all your secu security credentials are stored, is normally placed in a directory that people don't have access to. You have to be an administrator to access it. The operating system is allowed to read it, but regular users can't. Well, in 2018, they changed the permissions and made it where. Anybody can read those databases. Anybody what who, could go wrong, Don? <laughs> if you have any user account, including a guest user account on the system, you would be able to read that, uh, that, that file. And since you can read the file, you can look into the SAM database and find the tokens that authenticate an admin, and now you're an admin, and off you go. So you do have to have physical access to the machine. You do have to have a login, although any login will do. So the real risk for this would be like if you go to a university lab, where they allow students to use the machine, any student can become an admin if they wanted. So that's the problem. Uh, in clean installs of Windows, this does not happen. The permissions are set right. But for people like myself, where I've upgraded this machine, I'm running the latest 21H2. Uh, because I've upgraded, it's retained those wrong permissions. And so Microsoft is trying to figure out how to fix that, like what what it was that led to this being set wrong, how to correct it. And as of the taping of this episode, they have not fixed it. Could this be a ploy to get people to be really excited about Windows 11? <laughs> Maybe. Is it, is it affect Windows 11 as well? I don't know. I, I didn't test it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, you, you know, it's funny. I was, uh, you know, I was teaching CEH today, and we were talking about privilege escalation, and you know, we talk about why does this happen? What what are things that we can do to help mitigate that? And one of the problems is permissions, right? One of the biggest issues is usually that somebody just jacked up the permissions the way yep. that allowed someone to be able to reach in and touch something that they shouldn't be able to do, either through over, oversight or just hurried, whatever the case is, this is the kind of thing that happens. And it seems really simple, right? Oh, go in and change the permission, and then it won't be a problem anymore, which is it seems like a, a viable solution, at least short term. Uh, keep it from inheriting permissions from above, and you should be all right with that. But the fact is somebody at Microsoft accidentally or on purpose for whatever reason said, hey, I'm just going to set the permissions for everybody to be able to read a very sensitive file. Yep, and, and you mentioned inheritance. So uh, I said that Microsoft has not patched this yet, which mm -hmm. is, is true. They have not. Uh, however, they have released a workaround. And one of the workarounds is to re-enable inheritance on that folder because the permissions are right on the folder, just wrong just on, on the files. Fi I gotcha. But these are well-documented files. Yeah. And so people know they exist. They always have the same name, and so they can be predicted. So this is a, this is a bad one. Uh, also worth mentioning is that even after you correct the permissions, you're still at risk because of the volume shadow copies. Microsoft Windows makes volume shadow copies. These are, are kind of like backups of any changed file, and somebody could still access those, which also have the wrong permissions. So you not only have to re-enable inheritance, but you also have to erase your volume shadow copies. So, and what's interesting is volume shadow copy is there to help us, right? Mm -hmm. It's there to protect us. Oh no, I accidentally deleted something. Don't worry, I've got volume shadow copy turned on. Let me just go grab the copy. And it just goes to show you, this is why, I was talking with somebody, this is why security is so hard. We're doing things to try to protect ourselves, but at the end of the day, at some point in time, it could be the linchpin that actually undoes us. So it's it's a very difficult thing to uh, in, uh, make something secure, especially something as complex as a computer system, let alone a network of systems. So yeah. you start to see the, the, the problem there. All right, you heard it here first. Uh, go ahead and delete those backups. <laughs> this message was brought to you by malware creators. Uh, yes. <laughs> We're waiting Are for you Are you looking to do for that. quality malware? Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they do actually have the commands where you can delete just the backups of those files, oh, nice. not your whole backup. Yeah. But uh, but the joke's still good. Yeah, yeah. do that. It still you, works. You get credit on that one. Yeah. Right. We'll allow it. <laughs> if you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.